Hey guys, welcome to Minute Ministry. So, guess what? My editing software, my cameras, all that kind of stuff, the computer that that's all connected to has had some issues. And so, um, we're going to dive into the with an unedited version of Minute Ministry. So we're talking today about how the Passover has everything to do with our Christian walk. Got a minute? This is where you play the theme music in your head. Hopefully you're dancing too. So the Passover, if you're not familiar, back in Exodus, um, Exodus 12, um, Jesus is, uh, Jesus. I told you this was an unedited video. All right, back in Exodus 12, Moses is trying to get the people, like God is leading Moses to get the people out of e Egypt. And that's just not working. And so God ordains a Passover where the head of the household they have to sacrifice a lamb and then take that blood and put it over the door frames. And so whenever the uh, angel of death later on that evening at that night is going through, whenever he sees the um, blood over the door frames, then he passes over that house. That's why it's called the Passover. However, for the Egyptians that did not do this practice, the angel of death would go in and they would kill the firstborn. Right, the very firstborn. And so this awesome story is a big part of how Egypt or how uh, Israel came out of Egypt. And so that being said, it has everything to do with one particular key point. Okay. This mirrors and shadows what happens in the New Testament. Jesus is coming and Jesus comes and he is the perfect lamb. He was prepared by God the Father to be the perfect lamb. And whenever he died, whenever he was sacrificed for us, right, then his blood is put over top of the door frames in your life. And the fact that your door frames have blood over means that you got passed over. Remember that the the um, cause of the uh, sin is leads to death, right? So sin brings death. But whenever there that angel of death is looking and there is the blood over top of your door frame, then he passes over. And so one of the cool things here for you to know is that um, that basically you didn't do anything. These people, a lot of them in the household, they didn't do anything. It was the head of the household that sacrificed the lamb and put the, the blood over the door. So God loved you so much that he created this sacrifice, right? He, he's the one that made the sacrifice. He puts that blood over so that the, the blood is the one that, that makes the Passover complete. And so that household, right? So let's take that. That's this is the last piece. Whenever the he sees this blood over the door, all of the household is saved. And so by God doing this for us, by him bringing that blood over the door frame, he is bringing us into his household. We are a part of his family. And so you got to see that this was all God the Father and all Jesus. There was nothing that you've done in order to earn his love, in order to earn his spot in his family, but he made it that way. And he shadowed it in the story of the Passover. I am hoping that I can get my editing software up soon so that I can be uh, producing videos again, not like this, but be bear with me, give me grace, um, and hopefully we will get it all figured out. So thanks guys. Thank you for taking a minute.